Hello, my name is Sakari Lehtinen. Welcome to Getting Started with Templates. In this tutorial, I will explain to you the basic ideas behind the templates in SimpleBIM. Just like the model author tools have drawing templates to enhance creating drawings from the models, the templates in SimpleBIM will help you to effectively create high-quality IFC files. You can do two things with the templates. 1. Set the data exchange requirements for your IFC data. Once you run a template with the requirements to an IFC model, SimpleBIM will start automatically validate your IFC data against these requirements and thus guide you to create high-quality IFC files for a specific task or application. 2. With the templates you can also automate the model editing and thus meet the data exchange requirements in the most effective way. You can use the ready-made templates we have created for you, or you can create templates of your own. Templates can be found and managed here in the startup canvas, or if the model is already open, you can apply them here in the editor tab. To use a template, simply click on it and choose the IFC file. The basic IFC import will start and the chosen template is automatically run after the import is finished. If you don't want to use template in the import, use the general purpose import from the startup canvas instead. In the startup canvas, you can also edit and copy the templates or create new templates from the scratch. Note that editing the ready-made templates is not allowed, but instead you can copy them and use them as a starting point for your own templates. You can hide the templates you don't need by clicking on the hide button. And arrange the templates simply by dragging them up or down in the list. To show all the templates, check the show hidden templates. Some of the templates may have a, a tutorial or other information linked to it. You can access this information by clicking on the info button. To set a template as a default template, click on the pin. Finally, you can delete a template by clicking on the delete button. Note that the templates are actually deleted, not just hidden, if you do this. When copying or creating a new template, you need to give an identity to the template. Let's practice this by creating a new template. Click on the new template. This can be found from the bottom of the list. New template dialog opens. It is mandatory to keep the template a name, unique key and author. Also, there's an option to define a description, version, link and group to the template. The group affects on how the templates are grouped in the user interface. You can use one of the default groups or create one of your own. The templates are defined in plain old Excel files. To edit the template, you need to have either Excel or OpenOffice installed in your computer. Click on OK and the template is automatically opened for editing. Here we created a new template, so it only has the structure of the template but no rules defined yet. Before we start defining the rules, let's go through the basic structure of the template. There are five tabs in the template, each for a specific purpose. In the settings tab, you set the identity of the template, the model author and licensing information, and the simple BIM IFC export settings. In the resource tab, you create identities for renaming the objects and properties or for creating new properties for your objects. The model tab is used for automating the data editing. In the model view tab, you choose which objects and their properties you want to include or exclude. In other words, here you can automate the trimming. And finally, in the validation tab, you can set the requirements and thus also the validation rules for your data. Note that templates can be used in many ways. You can use only one kind of rule, or you can use all of them. The only mandatory thing to have is the template identity. Just make sure 
you don't edit the basic structure of the template. Don't delete any of the subtitles or tabs, otherwise the template will stop. This was a short overview of the Simple PIM templates. A good way to get started is to copy an existing template and look into it. Or you can continue by watching dedicated movies where we go through all the tabs and their rules in detail. Thank you for watching.